In April 2015, Chinese scientists announced that they had created the world's first genetically modified human embryo. Scientists may soon be capable of editing every part of our DNA, which could not only alter inheritable diseases, but also modify eye color, height, and even gender. Understandably, many would argue that tampering with human DNA is unethical, however, there is evidence to suggest that it has been done before, thousands of years ago. This is Mystery Moon. Our brand new YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. At the Malapa Caves in Johannesburg, South Africa, anthropologist Lee Berger and his son discovered several fossilized remains of two million year old early hominids, our ape like ancestors. Including a female adult and a male child. Over the past few decades, scientists have unearthed dozens of remains belonging to these early humans before they evolved into Homo sapiens. Today, there is only one species of human. However, two million years ago, there were perhaps two or three species of hominids living in the same area at the same time. According to scientists, hominids evolved from their ape ancestors nearly six million years ago through what is known as natural selection or survival of the fittest. This is also known as Darwin's theory of evolution. Darwin speculated that over time, Hominids learned to walk on two feet and began to use tools, making them gradually smarter over time, eventually becoming modern man. However, many dispute this theory altogether. If this is how we evolved, why have no other creatures on Earth evolved in a similar way? What makes us so unique? And if we evolved to better suit our surroundings, why did we lose our fur? A vital necessity for keeping warm during the colder months. Alfred Russell Wallace, a colleague of Darwin called it, the intelligence evolution. Wallace perceived that there was an enormous gap in intelligence and cognitive abilities between Homo sapiens and any species that predated them. Wallace presented another theory of divine intervention. In other words, God. He believed in an unseen spiritual creator who was behind all life on Earth. He believed that this creator had intervented three times. The first being to create life from organic matter. The second time was when animals achieved consciousness, and the third was when humans were suddenly given the mental capacity and abilities that we have today. In December 2004, researchers in Chicago published a study that claimed the sophistication of the human brain was the result of a so-called special event. They said human intelligence was not just the result of evolution and that around 50,000 years ago, the genes of ancient humans went through an intense amount of change in a relatively short amount of time. But what could have caused this sudden surge in human intelligence? How did we go from being wild animals to being able to create complex technology, while every other wild animal didn't? Was it genetic modification? And if so who or what is responsible? Some theorists suggest that an advanced civilization visited our planet thousands of years ago. Choosing our hominid ancestors as the most intelligent creatures, they extracted the DNA and modified the genetics to create a more intelligent race. After impregnating the genetically modified embryos into our ancestors, we became a new species and developed abstract thought. Homo sapiens in Africa began to behave symbolically and develop vocabulary. Could this be the reason why so many ancient cave paintings, resemble otherworldly beings? Or is this just a strange coincidence? The gene FOXP2, is the gene responsible for our language abilities, and is what sets us apart from every other creature on Earth. Yet no one has been able to trace its point of origin. Where did this gene come from? Was it artificially introduced at some point in our evolution? Knowing what we know today about genetic modification, it's certainly possible. 
But who could have given us the gift of speech? And what else have they given us? The book of Genesis, tells the story of Adam and Eve. The first man and woman on earth. Up until recently, thought to be a book of faith and religion, but could this now be proven to be historical fact? In 1987, scientists discovered that the genetic lineage of every man and woman on earth, could be traced back to a single woman who once lived in Africa. Is it possible that the Garden of Eden was in fact a real place? And was the forbidden fruit the source of the Fox P2 gene? In the Bible, the story tells us of a serpent who tempts Eve into eating the forbidden fruit. Telling her that it will give her the power of God. Millennia later, advancements in science have meant that mankind can in fact play God by manipulating genetics and creating life for ourselves in a lab. Is it possible therefore? that Satan was real? Could Satan have actually been an extraterrestrial scientist, experimenting with gene manipulation? Consider the fact that many today feel that gene manipulation is unethical. Could other extraterrestrials have also thought the same when our genes were manipulated and therefore, Satan is depicted as all that is evil? The Sumerian tablets date back to around 3000 BC and are considered to be the world's first written records. Rather like the Bible, they tell stories of how the gods created the first man and woman. However, in the Sumerian tablets, the gods were referred to as, the Anunnaki. Depictions of the Anunnaki were shown to be over 8 feet tall, have the ability of flight, possess modern technology, and wear symbols relating to the cosmos. The Anunnaki wanted gold, and enslaved human beings in order to mine it for them. Could this be the reason we were made more intelligent? So that we could be enslaved? The Sumerian tablets are not the only historical documents that claim that language was a gift from the gods. The Quran, the Mayans, the ancient Egyptian texts, all say the same thing. It appears that no matter where in the world, there are ancient myths of gods who came down to earth from the sky, and intermingled with human beings, creating different cultures and religions. But what if genetic modification was not the answer to the missing link in our evolution? How else could we explain how our story began? Some say that the reason we are so different from every other creature on Earth is because we are not from Earth at all. After scientists discovered microorganisms inside meteorites had survived deep space, some theorists suggest that this could have been how ancient extraterrestrials managed to send our DNA to Earth. Other theories suggest, that we were moved to this planet because, maybe our own planet had died, and that Earth is a nature reserve for the human race. But they couldn't move us to a planet full of such dangerous predators like dinosaurs, the human race would have been easy prey for creatures such as, T-Rex and Velociraptor, so they needed to wipe out the dinosaurs to give mankind a fighting chance at survival. So what do you think? Are aliens responsible for creating mankind as we know it? Or is it because of spiritual intervention? Or are extraterrestrials and God, one and the same thing? Is there more to religion than just myths and stories? Are we finally beginning to prove that religious texts are actually based on historical fact? Will we ever uncover the truth? Please leave a comment in the section below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. This channel is extremely new and we are very grateful for all the support we receive. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, goodbye.